Hey guys, in this video, we are going to use equations to solve word problems, but this time, these word problems are gonna have two let statements. So these are a little tricky, and everyone's gonna approach them at different paces. So I'd like to record this. I wanted to record this so that you can take this at your own pace. All right, so first, we're gonna use those let statements to define what we're finding but we're gonna make sure we just use one variable. Even though we're gonna be looking for two things, we're gonna be looking for two things, we're gonna use one variable to define that let statement. That'll make sense in just a minute. Then we'll use the keywords to set up our equation and solve our equation, and then answer the problem. So here's an example. Let's take a look at number one. It says, one number is 12 less than another number. The total of the two numbers is 154, and we have to find both numbers. So this red underlined sentence ooh, is going to help us develop our let statements. So we're always going to start with let x equals. x is going to equal one of the numbers, so let's call it one number. And the other number is 12 less than x. 12 less than x. So we've got one number is x and the other number is 12 less than it. And that's all coming from this red sentence. Everybody needs to know that x has got to be something. So we're going to call x one of the numbers and the other number is 12 less than it. So the other number is x minus 12. All right. So let's look at that one more time. One number is 12 less than another number. So one of them is gonna be x, and the other one is x take away 12. And that's all coming from the red sentence. The total of those two numbers is 154. Total means add, and our two numbers are x and x minus 12, and the total of them is 154. So the first number plus the other number is 154. The first number plus the other number is 154. Now we will solve the equation, so combine like terms. Let me zoom in here. Add the 12, and we get 2x, let me bring my work over here, 2x is equal to 166. Divide by 2, and we get that x is 83. Now we take that back to our let statement. We just found that x is 83, which means we found this number to be 83. Oh, 83, let's try that again. And this number, this other number, is 83 take away 12, because since x is 83, the second number is 83 minus 12. And 83 minus 12 is 71. So we check our answer. One number is 83, the other one has gotta be 71. Let's check if it's true. Are they differing by 12? Yes, they are. Is the total of those two numbers 154? Well, three plus one is four, and eight plus seven is 15 the total of the two numbers is definitely 154. So the, both numbers are 83 and 71. Now let's take a look at number two. It says, the sum of two numbers is 80. The larger number is four more than three times the smaller number. Find both numbers. So let x equal and it says the larger number is four more than three times smaller. So it looks like we're taking four plus three x, where x is the smaller, so let x equal the smaller. And that comes from analyzing the blue highlighted sentence. Because the larger is being compared to the smaller. And the larger is equals four plus three times the smaller. So the smaller has got to be our x. And then four plus three x will be our larger. Let's make sure that jives with that blue sentence again. 
the larger is four more than three times the smaller, and we'll call the smaller x. So somebody's always got to be x, and by reading the sentence a few times, you find that x is the smaller, and the larger is being built off the smaller. Now what relates these two together is this black highlighted sentence. The sum of two numbers is 80. So the sum is to add, and we are adding the two numbers, which are x and 4 plus 3x. So here's our two numbers. There's the first one, second one, and adding them together to make 80. So x plus 4 plus 3x equals 80. Now we'll solve. Combine like terms, subtract by 4, divide by 4, and we get that x is equal to uh, 76 divided by 4, which is 1, 9. There we go, 19. And we take this, go back to your let statement. So we go back to our let statement. We just found x, and we plug x in everywhere. So we plug x here, and we plug in x here. Looks like our smaller number is 19, and our larger number is going to be 3 times 19 plus 4, which is 3 times 19 is 57. This is 57 right here. Plus 4 is 61. So find both numbers. The numbers are 19 and 61. And then you can test it. Check to see that the larger number is 4 more than 3 times the smaller, which it is, as we just did it right here. And then check to see if when you add these together, you get 80, which you do. So those are our two numbers. Now the next question is not about numbers anymore, but it is about boys and girls. So let's read the question first and highlight important information along the way. In Mrs. Middleton's math class, there are seven more boys than girls. If there are 29 total students in the class, how many boys are there? So obviously the two things we're looking for or comparing are boys versus girls. So we have to let x equal something. There are seven more boys than there are girls. So if we call x girls, then x plus seven, because there's seven more boys, would be boys. If you called x to be boys, then you would have to do x minus seven for girls. Because again, there are seven more boys than there are girls. So if this was like, let's say 10, then there would be three girls in the class. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. But remember, you always have to call somebody x, and then you will build the second let statement off of the first let statement. So if x is girls, and this says seven more boys, then boys is x plus seven. And it says there are 29 total students in the class. So that means that girls plus boys is 29. We called girls x, we called boys x plus 7, and that's equal to 29. Now we'll solve the equation, 2x plus 7 is equal to 29. Subtract 7, we get 2x is equal to 22, with x equaling 11. And take this back to your let statement, x is 11, so that means girls is 11, and boys is 11 plus 7, so boys is 18. And there are 18 boys because they specifically asked us how many boys are there. In the next example, <clears throat> it reads, Reese is seven years younger than Emily. If the sum of their ages is 37, find the age of each girl. So we are comparing Reese's age and Emily's age. So we need somebody for X. So Reese is seven years younger than Emily. So if we call X to be Emily, then X minus seven would be Reese. And if the sum of their ages is 37, so Emily's age plus Reese's age is 37. Emily's age plus Reese's age is 37. 
again, we called x to be Emily and x minus 7 to be Reese, and then we're adding them together to get 37. Combine like terms, add the 7 to both sides, 2x is equal to 44, divide by 2, and x is 22. Take it back to your let statement. What did we just find? We just found x, which is Emily's age. Emily is 22. And Reese is 22 minus 7, so Reese must be 15. Find the age of each girl. Emily is 22 years old, and Reese is 15 years old. For our last example, on their last history test, Eric scored five more than twice the points that his friend Josh did. If they scored 134 altogether, find Eric's score. So let x equal. Always have to let x equal. And let's read it again. Eric scored five more than twice Josh. So Eric is five plus two x. Looks like x has got to be Josh's score. And Eric is five more than twice Josh. And that does say score, okay? So Eric is five more than twice Josh. And then if they scored 134 all together, so that's Eric's score plus Josh's score is 134. Eric is five plus two X plus Josh, who we called X, is equal to 134. They scored 134 all together. There's Eric plus Josh. Let's combine like terms and solve. Okay, subtract the 5 on both sides. 3x is equal to 134 minus 5, which is 129. Divide by 3, and x is equal to 43. Take it back to the let statement. What did we just find? We just found x, which is Josh's score. And Eric scored 5 more than 2 times Josh's score. 5 more than 2 times Josh's score is 86. Multiply. And 5 plus 6 is 91. So Josh scored a 43. And Eric scored a 91. And that is your lesson on using equations to solve word problems that have two let statements. Thanks for watching.